Greetings, everyone. I'm in Kansas City at the T-Mobile Center. Doors have yet to open. There's the octagon right over my left shoulder. What a lot of people don't realize is how much our TV production crew rehearses to get it to look just right on TV. And when we have those walkout reports where Megan or Heidi Andral um, will be on camera doing a report on a fighter and then they walk by at just the perfect time, that's because they rehearse it. Here's a look at how they do it. The guest on Bolanos walk. We're rehearsing the first walk of the night. The or no, second, yeah, second, second walk, walk of the night. And the lovely Heidi Andrews gonna be doing a report on him. Okay. So we're rehearsing that move. It's a little handoff. Okay, let's try. Oh, so backstage here at the T-Mobile Center. There's Heidi Andrews in a light purple dress. That's Heidi Dean, a member of our production crew who's assisting. And there's the stand-in for the day. We have a stand-in help to do the walks, usually a production assistant that we hire locally in whatever city we're at. And so they want to capture when the fighter walks around the corner just like this and comes into frame while Heidi's doing her report so that the camera can back up and then do the handoff, as RJ said, on his way to the octagon. And now we'll come up to the position where Heidi Andral is. RJ will mark that spot for we that go behind particular the walk on during Nation. that portion of the show. And then Heidi realizes that I'm the one behind the camera catching some behind the scenes. Yes, there we go. We're going to try. Always great to see Heidi. Now you'll hear the other Heidi counting down our stand-in for the walk. And here he goes on his way to the octagon. So there you have it. My uh, microphone is about to cut out so that the audio gets cut off there. There's my guy. I played the role of his coach, gave him a little dap before he stands on the side. But this is where the TV truck fires their graphics and they want to get the timing right for the cut man before this particular fighter steps into the octagon. Here's how it looks on TV, side by side with the behind the scenes rehearsal. Gaston Bolaños III was born and raised in Lima, Peru. That's where he took up boxing and Muay Thai as a boy. When he was 15, his entire family moved to East Palo Alto, California. It was then that his father got him into mixed martial arts to keep him out of trouble. He told me he was named after his grandfather and they were very close. In fact, he wears a necklace around his neck every single day with his grandfather's ashes in it. He has those with him tonight as he makes his first walk to the UFC octagon. He actually trained with his opponent, Aaron Phillips, a couple years back, had a feeling the two would be facing one another when he got to the UFC. It's all come full circle for the dream killer as he readies himself to represent his family and his native country in the octagon here tonight. Thank you very much, Heidi. Michael Bisping, Gaston Bolaños has, uh, Bolaños has been ready for this moment, and he's been buzzing all fight week to get in there.